Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So I am so excited for this video. I filmed for this entire week and I showed you guys my God time routine, how I spend time with God every single day. Also, this video is me trying out meditation for the first time. This Catholic meditation app, Hallow, reached out to me and wanted to collaborate together. So this video is sponsored by Hallow. So they are giving all of you one month free on their app. Go to hallow.com slash Lizzie and you can make an account. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Today is Sunday morning. I woke up around 10 a.m. and we're gonna start the day in a five minute extemporaneous impromptu prayer. So I'm setting a timer and then I'm just going to talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me and taking care of me. Please watch over me today. Please be with this entire video that I'm filming. Please help it to inspire so many people to spend more time with you, to dig deeper into scripture, and give me so much focus when I start to meditate. And please help me to fall in love with you deeper. So now I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna make some oatmeal for breakfast. And my first challenge is going to be picking one of the dailies and I'm going to listen to it while I'm making breakfast. So here is inside the app, I'm going to dailies and selecting the gospel reading. And then I'm choosing to do the 10 minute version. You can see there's different times. And then in the background, you can choose to play Gregorian chants or ambient tones the whole time. So I selected Gregorian chants. I'm eating my oatmeal now. It has blueberries, almond butter, oatmeal, and almond milk. So to be honest, it kind of stressed me out. <laughs> Maybe that's why I really need to do this challenge because it was a Lectio Divina type exercise where you pause and meditate and think about the passage for a long time. Kind of like what stands out to you and just spending time in silence with God and when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, go, 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 go. I want to start working. So it was hard to focus. It really was. But I also realized that 10 minutes is the time it took to make my breakfast. Usually I would just be listening to music, Taylor Swift, Little Mix. But instead I got to spend time with God. And I didn't realize how long the time was to spend with God. So I really enjoyed that a lot. So now I'm spending 30 minutes reading the Word on Fire Bible, which is the Gospels with loads of Church Father and Saint commentary in it. I absolutely love this and I'm taking a Sabbath day since it's Sunday, so I'm going to spend the day in different devotional activities. Hey guys! So this is my dress I'm wearing. I love it so much. I love the flowers. Excuse my yellow hair. I'm getting it redone on Tuesday. I hate it so much. That's why I haven't been on camera or making videos. They messed it up a lot. So I had lunch, did my workout, took a shower, and now I'm doing my second halo meditation exercise. And actually, I think it might be halo. Is it halo or halo? Anyways, by the time this is up, I will know. So on the app, I clicked playlist and then humility, and then I'm going to do the litany of humility, and I'm going to do the 15 minute version while I'm doing my makeup. We are going to pray the litany of humility, a famous Catholic prayer written in the 19th century. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, from the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, from the desire of being praised, from the fear of being humiliated, from the fear of being despised, so as I thought it would be, this was a very painful prayer. It was a dying to yourself type exercise where you want other people to be more loved, more appreciated, more known, more taken care of than yourself. 
and that you just view other people in the body of Christ or other people in general as making amazing contributions into Christianity and into the church that you want to be more important than your own. So I'm probably gonna pray this every single day cause I love it a lot. So after this, I live streamed for a couple hours and then I read this book that I just got from the series, The Fathers of the Church. It is Origen, who's one of my favorite early Christians and it is his homilies on Genesis and Exodus and it's so, so cool. It's like an allegorical reading of the Bible. It's amazing. After this, I'm making dinner and I'm listening to the YouVersion Bible app. I listen to first and second Peter and some of Hebrews. I absolutely love listening to the Bible while I'm cooking. So I am making vegan breakfast burritos. I'm using bell pepper tomatoes, boiling russet potatoes, the Beyond Meat, breakfast sausages and then just is this company that makes vegan eggs that actually taste like eggs and then i also have avocado i cut everything up and then this is what the burritos looked like they were so yummy so now i'm going to pray my rosary today is sunday so that means glorious mysteries which are my absolute favorite i'm praying with this icon which kind of looks like jesus resurrected and his apostles are there and there's a lot of angels. I feel like it has really good glorious mysteries vibes and then this is a red rosary. Someone gave it to me as a gift. I don't know who and then it has Pope Francis on it. I think it's so pretty and then my candles. I'm so excited about these new candles. I'm brave so I want the first day to keep going strong. So on the app I am selecting the meditation on dailies and this one, we're gonna do 20 minutes long. Welcome to Hallow. This daily meditation will be largely unguided by us, except for one prompt at the beginning. Feel free to let your mind and heart go where God leads you. Let's pray. I have a couple minutes left. I wanted to update. I feel extremely peaceful, very calm. I'm going to fall asleep like right when this ends. It sort of, it wants you to just hang out with God. So not necessarily do like giant extemporaneous prayer, but space and time to just be and exist and know God is within you, shining so brightly in your soul. Good morning, today is Monday, so I have several meetings over Zoom that are about to start. So I'm gonna go make breakfast, which is watermelon juice. I just blend a quarter of a watermelon with ice and it's delicious. This gospel reading is so bomb. It's when Jesus is calling his apostles at the beginning of John. And he says to Nathaniel, I saw you under the fig tree. And I always thought that is like, oh, he saw him in a distance. But I led a John Bible study this past semester in the spring. And it means that Nathaniel had had some spiritual experience, probably some intense spiritual experience under a fig tree, because that's where people went to think and read at the time because there's a lot of shade. And so I almost started crying when I heard the scripture reading because it's so beautiful and getting to meditate on how intimately God knows us and can read our entire minds. So I just had two meetings for two hours for my campus ministry work. I am a campus minister at three colleges, so it's a part-time job, but it's so much fun leading Bible studies and prayer sessions and doing fun events and everything. So now it is 12.15, so I'm going to make lunch and I'm gonna listen to a meditation while I'm doing that. So for lunch, I'm having a Beyond Burger and then I'm putting chow vegan cheese on it. And then I love these sandwich thins for the bread around it. And then I'm also gonna put half an avocado. So as I'm making lunch, I'm going to listen to another playlist. I'm clicking on humility and I'm gonna do Jesus humility for 15 minutes. So it was Philippians 2, the Christ hem. And what stood out to me the most because they ask what stands out to you the most and then meditating on it is that humility for Jesus was dying and being crucified. Being crucified, dying was this huge show of humility, which 
is the same with us when we die to ourself. And this relates to the litany yesterday where it was talking about how you want other people to be more important than you, more loved than you, more acclaimed than you. And so if you die to yourself, it's because you're putting other people above you because you literally view them as more important than you. So I really like that part a lot. We read it again and meditated again. And the part that stuck out to me this time was obedience and how beautiful the obedience was. And I think the number one way we can be obedient to God is the greatest commandments, loving God with all of our heart, mind, soul. And we can only love someone if we know them. And so we have to be searching the scriptures and reading theology and being so intense in understanding and knowing God and our prayer lives as well. So after this, I did a Bible study and I did the lectionary readings for the day, which I super recommend if you want to do a quick and simple Bible study. Just look up the Catholic lectionary readings and then go to each passage and I kind of annotate, read around it, and it's so fun. So now it is 3 p.m. and I'm prepping my Bible study for tonight and we're studying Romans and now we're in chapters 12 and 13. This is my subscriber Bible study, but I also do it with, on Monday I do it with my friends and some of the girls from one of the colleges that I work with. So I have a Google Doc and actually I'll show you guys, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom out real quick. We are at page 109 of 111, that's crazy. There are so many notes and commentaries and I read Chrysostom as well. So right now I am using the Jerome Biblical commentary and look what my bookmark is it's the icon of saint michael the archangel and the prayers on the back but it's different than the one that we say at mass so i always get so confused so i ended up transcribing and adding on the litany of humility to my bible study and they loved it so much so i think i'm definitely going to incorporate more things from the hallow app into my prayer sessions and bible studies for my campus ministry job I am so tired. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1027 p.m. Yeah, so it's almost 1030. I was watching the convention because I want to watch both sides of what's happening politically. And because I did film growing up and in school, I'm always so curious about the cinematography and the shots and how everything's edited together. I have to wake up really early tomorrow morning to go to my hair appointment, which I will bring you guys to. I'm going to do the five minute meditation and I will fall asleep to that. I'm barely awake. So the exercise was imagining Jesus knocking on the door and letting him in and my immediate reaction is imagining myself running over to the door and like pulling it open and hugging him and then it was almost like eucharistic adoration where you just imagine being in god's presence and not really saying anything and you think that five minutes is a long time but i feel like i could just be within that image of being with god and not saying anything and just hanging out together in silence I feel like I could do that for an hour now. I feel incredibly peaceful and wound down all the way. A lot of times it takes me a while to fall asleep or I have insomnia, but ever since I started this meditation, I sleep so much easier. Good morning, it's Tuesday, which is my hair appointment day and I'm running late. So I'm grabbing my iced coffee that I made last night and a couple Lara bars and I'm calling my Uber. I'm going to do my five minute prayer while I'm waiting for my Uber. This is my outfit. I get so cold in air conditioning, so that's why I'm wearing jeans to go to this. And then my shirt says bridesmaid on it. It's from my friend Rose's wedding. And we literally wore it on the day of the wedding. And I'm like, I should wear it again because it's a really cute shirt with the gold lettering. On the Uber ride over, instead of listening to music, I picked one of the challenges from the Hallow app and I chose the Our Father challenge and did it for 20 minutes, which was the exact time of the Uber over. On the way back, I did the third Our Father Challenge, Hallowed Be, just because that's the name of the app, so I was curious. And there was so much depth, it was so cool. My room is a mess, I'm so sorry you guys, but this is how my hair turned out. It's so much better, it's a lighter blonde. I love it a lot. What was that? It's like a ghost or something. 
<laughs> so basically i have my computer right here i'm starting to edit the footage from this challenge so that it will be up the day that i finish and i'm so happy because last week i didn't have any footage to edit because i didn't want my yellow hair being on camera and Editing is my number one passion in life, so I'm so happy. And instead of listening to Little Mix, nothing against Little Mix, but you know, their songs aren't like Christian values all the time. Instead, I've been listening to Christian music, like this whole meditation app has just put me in a more spiritual mindset where I'm craving more things of God. So right now I'm listening to this Christian band named Barlow Girl, which I grew up with and it's so beautiful. So that's in the background as I'm editing. So these are the ingredients I'm using to make my smoothie smoothie, chocolate protein powder, frozen blueberries, frozen mangoes, and vanilla almond milk. This is my smoothie. It doesn't look good on camera, but it's so yummy. It's like a chocolate shake. I love the protein powder. I put a lot of water and almond milk in it to make it a thinner consistency. Usually I would immediately go back to work and be eating while I'm working, but I'm going to listen to the litany of humility again. It's so demanding and convicting and I love it a lot. So I'm gonna listen to that as I sip my smoothie. It is 9 p.m. I'm gonna pray a quick rosary. I am live streaming in 30 minutes. So usually my rosaries can go on for an hour and a half. So I'm gonna try to just focus and get it done. It is Sorrowful Mysteries, so I have a crucifix that Trevor gave me, and then over here, a beautiful icon of Jesus on the cross as well. And then these are the candles. I just finished live streaming for two hours. This is my setup when I live stream. I also had a light over here, but I just took it down. Now I'm going to finish praying my rosary. I only got through three decades in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna pray the other two. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this room is a mess right now. So I'm going to try out one of these sleep stories. And this is the guy who plays Jesus in The Chosen, who's a Catholic. I know you guys are obsessed with The Chosen. So he is reading the sleep story. I'm Jonathan Rumi. The actor who plays Jesus in the new streaming series, The Chosen. Tonight, I'll be reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When he saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I love this so much, listening to the Bible. It's so sweet and his voice is amazing. I'm finishing listening to the Sermon on the Mount from the chosen Jesus person. And it feels so amazing to fall asleep listening to block scripture. I'm gonna do this so much more often. Good morning. So it was so hard to wake up this morning. I was caught up in my dream. So I already did my morning routine and I started making coffee, which I do not have coffee every day, but I need it today. So if I had laid in bed and prayed, I would have fallen back to sleep. So I'm going to kneel right here and do my five minute prayer. I'll show you how I make my coffee. So this is the Trader Joe's breakfast blend. I love it so much. And then I use a French press. So I put water in a kettle and then pour it in the French press. And then I make iced coffee. So I get a ton of ice, oat milk, and then maple syrup to make it sweet. So I'm gonna make my coffee now. So I fill it up half with coffee and then the rest with ice. And then I put some oat milk at the top and then I just swirl it around and I have my little tumbler of coffee for the day. I'm having leftovers from dinner yesterday. Surprise, pasta again. I love making pasta. While I'm eating lunch, I'm going on the Halo app and I'm clicking Father Mike Schmidt, who I'm obsessed with. And I'm going to listen to his homily from this past Sunday, which is so exciting because the Bible verses were on the keys of the kingdom of heaven. So I am editing the most frustrating video I've ever done in my entire YouTube career because the audio is out of sync like crazy in this Zoom interview. And I can't just move the audio like three to the right and then sync it up for the whole video. Like for me versus the interviewer, it's differently out of sync. And throughout the whole time I'm talking, each clip is out of sync in a different way. It's horrible. But because I've been doing so much praying and rosary lately, I'm actually pretty calm about it and not complaining as much as I would be internally in my head. 
And doing Sorrowful Mysteries last night, the whole point is that even when you're going through pain and suffering, you don't complain because Jesus didn't complain once when he was being whipped and carrying the cross and falling over and crucified. He didn't complain. And so we're supposed to go through life not complaining. And that's kind of where I'm at right now, where I'm not complaining as much as I would be. So it is a few hours later. I'm working through the audio. If you see here, I have different audio pieces and I'm trying to see which one matches perfectly. So it's a process for sure. So it is a few hours later. I've made so much progress. I am getting so stressed out though. So I'm gonna take a break and pray a rosary. So I'm going to take a walk around the block and pray my rosary outside. So I have on a purple sports bra, this green crop top, and then my favorite pair of sports shorts. <music> Hey guys, so we're required to wear masks outside where I live. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys like my daisy mask. I'm actually praying out loud, but quietly just because there's a lot of neighbor sounds going on with dogs and birds and cars. So no one can really hear me praying. So yeah, I'm quietly praying out loud. So I just got out of the shower. I talked to my best friend for two hours after praying the rosary. And now I'm going to do a sleep meditation. So if you look at the sleep section, there's so many different options of what you can do. And I think this is amazing because so many of you guys have mental illnesses. And I know with depression and bipolar, insomnia are huge symptoms. So there are literally so many options of sleep meditations you can do to help you fall asleep and honestly to just fill up the time so you're not just up for an hour on your phone on instagram wasting time on social media but actually meditating on god and getting to spend that time with the holy spirit i am choosing the praying with the saints and i'm going to meditate on a prayer by saint catherine of siena for 15 minutes i like to sleep like this where i have my pillow but then i'm hugging another pillow <laughs> Hello and welcome. Tonight we'll meditate on a poem prayer by St. Catherine of Siena. Let these words help guide you to God's peace as you fall asleep. Come into my heart. Draw it to thee by thy power, O oh my God. And grant me charity with filial fear. Preserve me, O oh beautiful love, from every evil thought. Warm me and flame me with thy dear love, and every pain will seem light to me. This prayer was so beautiful and immersive, and looking back to how I used to fall asleep scrolling through social media, reading random stuff on the internet, looking back, that is so boring compared to the passion and excitement and depth of the sleep prayers and the meditation exercises, it's so much better using the Halo app to fall asleep rather than just being on the internet. Good morning! So today is Thursday and I'm going to take a COVID test, so hopefully I test negative. On Saturday, I'm traveling to visit one of my best friends in another state, so I want to make sure that I don't have it before I go travel and visit her. This is my outfit and I wanna show you guys how I made this shirt into a crop top. So it goes really, really low. So I put it all the way down and then I put two hair ties on like that. Then you just tuck them in like that and it's a crop top. For breakfast, I am making watermelon juice again. And it makes two cups of juice. It's so yummy. So to be honest, the COVID test is not painful in any way. I have no idea what everyone's talking about. I will say that mine was just a swab up my nose and then twirled around for like 30 seconds. And some, it goes back into the throat or something. So maybe I had a different type of test, but one of my subscribers said he almost threw up taking it. And other people were just like freaking out and like most uncomfortable thing in my life. So I recommend going into it, maybe expecting it to be awful and then it won't be awful. But yeah, I'm gonna get my test results back in a couple days, so I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, so I 
finally finished editing my video and I'm ready for a snack. So I'm going to try this organic carrot juice for the first time from Trader Joe's and I'll let you guys know how I like it. So I am going to playlist stuck at home, turn it into a retreat and I'm choosing to read this saint poem, which is by Saint Teresa of Avila, who I absolutely love. Okay, let's see how this is. It's really good. It tastes like carrots, but it's sweeter than just carrots. Mmm. I love this, I could guzzle this down, it's so good. So I just had dinner and now I'm gonna do Bible study for a couple hours. I'm prepping an Acts Bible study for this semester because I'm leading it at the colleges that I work at. Right here, I have this amazing book. It's called Ancient Christian Commentary on Scripture Series. This is a gigantic book and it's literally just church father commentary on Acts. And look at all the people in here. So it's mostly based on Christian Chrysostom, BD the Venerable, and Eriter, but then it also has Basil the Great, Gregory of Nazianus, Gregory of Nyssa, Ephraim the Syrian, Didymus the Blind, Athanasius, Jerome, Augustine, Ambrose, Irenaeus, Cyril of Alexandria, etc. So this thing is amazing and I'm going to annotate it all the way through this semester, but I am starting off in Acts 1 and I'm just going to read this all the way through first without any of the sources. As you can see, I have not read through Acts in this Bible yet, so I haven't in a couple years, and I'm so excited to get into it. Here are all my annotation pens and highlighters, so this is gonna get really intense. So before I go to sleep, I'm praying the Luminous Mysteries. So I have the establishing of the Eucharist icon here, which is the fifth mystery, which is my favorite in Luminous Mysteries. I try to pray my rosary at least four times a week. So my goal is always to do each set of mysteries that week. You guys will probably recognize my prayer request books from my I Prayed the Rosary Every Day for a Month challenge. So I've been putting new requests in here for the upcoming school year and everything that's happening with the campus ministry work in the schools. And then this rosary is really beautiful. It's like Revelation 12, a woman clothed with the sun on her head, a crown of 12 stars. So I'm going to sleep and I'm choosing to listen to another sleep story by Jonathan, the actor who plays the chosen. And this one is Jesus being tempted in the desert. Good morning, today is Friday. I have so much work to finish. I have to pack because I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon to go to visit my best friend. So we're gonna start the day in prayer and then I'll show you guys what I'm making for breakfast. So I'm making my typical fruit smoothie today. I've been out of bananas, but I went grocery shopping last night. So here's everything that's in it. So bananas as the base, then ground flaxseed, almond milk, mango, blueberry, and raspberry. Frozen fruit is always cheaper and it makes the smoothie cooler. So I love eating my fruit frozen. And then I have my chocolate protein powder that also has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. So I put my smoothie in my giant tumbler and I'm gonna listen to the daily gospel reading while I'm eating. So for the Lectio Divina, you're supposed to pray before of what you wanna get out of the exercise. And I literally prayed that I would feel more urgency and passion to spend time with God. And then the parable is literally what I prayed for. I'll put it up on the screen but it's of the 10 virgins and not running out of oil. And it's so intense at the end where people literally are not allowed into heaven because they slacked off on their faith on earth. So I think it's a really powerful convicting story and I absolutely love this time to meditate on it. So I love how God answers the tiniest prayers and when you wanna grow closer to him. Hi everyone. So I have not been filming that much today. I'm so sorry. I have been getting so much work done to prepare to leave California. And I'm gonna be staying with my friend for several weeks, maybe upwards to a month. 
I just got a one-way ticket, so I just have so much stuff going on. So that's why I haven't been filming, so I apologize. It is 8 o'clock, so I have to start packing. And I'm going to listen to the audio rosary on Hollow as I'm packing. I've never done a listening to a rosary before, so I'm so curious whether or not I'll like it. I've put all my workout clothes in here and then all my shorts and some two pieces in here. Yes, I have a ton of workout clothes. I haven't included it in these vlogs, but I do work out every single day. In this bag, I'm packing all my religious stuff, so all my pens and highlighters to annotate my Bible and theology books. And then these are my rosary prayer requests that are so important to me. I have so much intimate stuff written in there for myself, my family, my subscribers, best friends, everyone. And then a crucifix. I always travel with at least one crucifix. And then I have three rosaries to pray with while I'm gone. I was shocked. I actually really enjoyed listening to the audio rosary. It made me feel so peaceful, even though I wasn't super, super focused on every single prayer and mystery and everything. But it was just so much better than listening to music because I've been getting so stressed out and it really calmed me down a lot. I decided too while I was listening to it that from now on, any day that I don't physically pray the rosary, I'm going to listen to it because it's literally 20 minutes. Every single one of you can fit 20 minutes into your day to listen to a rosary. Or if you can pray a rosary in 20 minutes, then actually physically pray it. But for me, it takes like, 40 minutes to an hour to do my whole rosary routine. Good morning. So today is travel day. I have to wrap up a lot of work before I go to the airport. So it's gonna be really busy. But while I was showering, I listened to the gospel Lectio Divina, which was really cool. When I'm showering, I almost always listen to music or watch YouTube. And so going into the future, I'm definitely going to listen to more Hallow activities while I'm showering. It's just such a great time to pray. So for breakfast, I'm eating banana bread. I got this at Trader Joe's. I didn't bake it. Although I do love baking banana bread, but this is such an easy snack. I knew I needed a quick breakfast today. I just finished listening to the rosary and it was the exact time it took me to do my makeup. So in the future, I'm definitely going to listen to the rosary during makeup more often. I'm filming in the shirt I was wearing yesterday. So guys, I wanna share some prayer requests being answered. So in the middle of filming, like at the very beginning, I heard a lawnmower or leaf blower going off and it was so loud and I wouldn't have been able to film. And so I prayed a Hail Mary and it stopped. And then seven minutes later, it happened again. I prayed a Hail Mary and it stopped. And then 20 minutes in, it started again and I prayed a Hail Mary and it stopped. I know a lot of people watching will be like, it's a coincidence. But when coincidences constantly happen, when you pray rosaries and ask Mary and the saints to intercede for you and pray to God about things, it just seems like God's power is intervening and those prayer requests are being answered with a yes. I'm also all the way packed up and all I need to do is put my pillow on top. Yes, I almost always travel with a pillow. I've had this pillow since I was seven, so I'm very, very connected to it and it's so cozy. And then over here, I have my purse that I'm going to bring. I have a lot of stuff in here. And then this is a giant bag I usually always travel with. And inside I have my Bible kit, my laptop, some extra clothes that couldn't fit and a book somewhere as well along with my planner. So that's my whole packing routine. Hey guys, so I made it to Boston. This is my air mattress. I get my own room because she lives in a giant house and one of her roommates just moved out. So I get to stay in here. And on the airport, I worked, I finished editing this entire video. We got some food, stopped at CVS to pick up some toiletries because I didn't want to travel with a ton. And I am ending the vlogs by listening to a final sleep story. I was so excited to see they had Psalm 119, which is my absolute favorite psalm. 
it's so long and I'm shocked if they read the entire song. So anyways, I've absolutely loved hanging out with you guys this past week and showing you inside my life. Definitely download the Halo app, do your own meditation, do the one month trial, let me know how you guys like it. After that, you can purchase Halo for the entire year for $59.99. I love you guys so much and good night. I hope you guys love this video. Comment below any of the devotional or meditation activities that you're going to incorporate into your life now. Also, they told me they are constantly adding on new features to the app. A lot of your favorite Catholic speakers and Catholic social media influencers are going to appear on the app very soon. They told me who's going to be there and I'm not allowed to share with you guys, but you will be so excited. Also, they wanted me to share that Halo was founded by a group of friends who went to Notre Dame together and then after graduation, they came back together and collaborated and created the app. It's a really small company, only 15 people work on the team and it was started in 2018. So this app is brand new. And like I said, they're constantly adding new content onto it. Make sure to be following me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, I've linked below my Patreon if you wanna support my videos. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.